Hi ladies. Um, just wanted to check in on you. I'm just heading out for the day, but I'm in my little room in my quiet time chair and it's quiet. So I thought I'd take advantage of it. I've been thinking about you all since last Saturday and I've talked to a few of you and I even met with one of you yesterday and that was great. Um, I just wondered how you're doing, what your thoughts are. Um, are you reeling with all the information? Uh, are you overwhelmed? Have you, you know, cut things out? Have you cut out the carbs? Have you tried to figure out how to get your protein in? Um, have you realized how valuable you are and how important you are and that it's important to take care of you? Have you given that some more thought? So I just wonder how everybody's doing. Um, I have another workshop tomorrow. Um, it's going to set off another whole spin of busy cycle, but I just wondered how y'all were doing been thinking about you like I said and praying for you and I wanted to share with you out of Ephesians 1 we talked about Ephesians and Colossians and finding out who we are in Christ and how loved we are and how valuable we are and so I wanted to just kind of speak a few things over you and then pray for you and please let me know if you have any questions if there's any way I could help you I know a lot of you are interested in the upcoming workshops that we're going to do um like I said, one gal took uh, advantage of the personal coaching and I went and met her for an hour and we got her some meal plans figured out and she's she's ready to go. So let, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them here. I, I just, I really want to help you. So let me know what I can do. Um, but I'm going to share a few things out of uh, Ephesians 1. And I just want you to hear um, some things about you, okay? Um, it talks about how we're blessed with spiritual blessings that um, he's chosen us before the foundation of the world. And I talked about that a little bit last week about um, that we're not rejected. He actually chose us and picked us on purpose that we would be holy and without blame before him in love. That that's how he sees you, holy and without blame. That you can drop the shame and the guilt because um, that's not how he sees you. Um, we've been adopted by him. He's accepted us in the beloved we are accepted we're not rejected um we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace um we've obtained an inheritance uh just so much the ephesians 1 and 2 are just so rich and um i'm going to read the prayer in ephesians 1 here over you and then i'm going to share a little bit at the end of it but um, so father of glory, I pray that you would give these wi women a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Lord, that the eyes of their understanding would be enlightened, that they would know what is the hope of your calling and the riches of the glory and in your inheritance, Lord. And I pray that they would know the exceeding greatness of your power toward them who believe, Lord, that same power, which you wrought in Christ when you raised him from the dead and you set him at your own right hand in heavenly places and father i thank you that he is far above all principality and power and might and dominion in every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and that you put all things under his feet and i thank you lord that you said that you quickened us and you raised us up together and you made us to sit in heavenly places with christ in jesus name and ladies, that means that we're seated with Christ. And where was he seated? Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named. Um, and all things are under his feet. And that's where we are, ladies. That's our position in Christ. We are far above um, the guilt, the shame, um, that unloving spirit, the spirits of fear. We are far above that. Um, and I just want to encourage you to realize who you are and to walk in that uh, and take care of you and know that you are loved and accepted and chosen and holy and blessed. And um, so I just wanted to leave that with you and pray for you. And again, if you have any other practical questions, please, please feel free to ask. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.